transfinite numbers are numbers that are infinite in the sense that they are larger than all finite numbers, yet not necessarily absolutely infinite. The term transfinite was coined by Georg Cantor, who wished to avoid some of the implications of the word infinite in connection with these objects, which were nevertheless not finite. Few contemporary writers share these qualms, it is now accepted usage to refer to transfinite cardinals and ordinals as infinite. However, the term transfinite also remains in use. Definition As with finite numbers, there are two ways of thinking of transfinite numbers, as ordinal and cardinal numbers. Unlike the finite ordinals and cardinals, the transfinite ordinals and cardinals define different classes of numbers. Omega is defined as the lowest transfinite ordinal number and is the order type of the natural numbers under their usual linear ordering. Aleph null is defined as the first transfinite cardinal number and is the cardinality of the infinite set of the natural numbers. If the axiom a choice holds, the next higher cardinal number is Aleph 1. If not, there may be other cardinals which are incomparable with Aleph 1 and larger than Aleph 0. But in any case, there are no cardinals between Aleph 0 and Aleph 1. The continuum hypothesis states that there are no intermediate cardinal numbers between Aleph null and the cardinality of the continuum. That is to say, Aleph 1 is the cardinality of the set of real numbers. Is consistent, then neither the continuum hypothesis nor its negation can be proven from ZFC. Some authors, including P. Suppers and J. Rubin, use the term transfinite cardinal to refer to the cardinality of a Dedekind infinite set. In contexts where this may not be equivalent to infinite cardinal, that is, in contexts where the axiom of countable choice is not assumed or is not known to hold. Given this definition, the following are all equivalent. M is a transfinite cardinal. That is, there is a Dedekind infinite set A such that the cardinality of A is M. M plus 1 equals M. M. There is a cardinal N such that plus N equals M. 